Oh my goodness, what a beautiful day! Hey guys, today we are in Tokyo Station. It's a little bit windy today. It's January 15th, 11 degrees. However, the wind is 8 meters per second. Because of the wind, it feels much cooler. However, compared to the usual year, much warm for January though. Since it's a beautiful day, we are heading to one of the best park near Tokyo Station. It's right next to Tokyo Disneyland. There is one of the biggest Ferris wheel in Japan and also the aquarium as well. I have visited the park before, but it's my very first time to visit the aquarium, so I'm excited. Today, we are using the Keio line. As you guys know, Tokyo Station is a big station. And if you are using the Keio line, it's almost a different station. The Keio line, it's the red one. If you are heading to the Tokyo Disneyland, you also need to take the Keio line. So just remember in case if you are visiting the Tokyo Disneyland in the future. By the way, that's the Tokaido Shinkansen station. If you are heading to the west, this is the Shinkansen that you need to take. Since it's the travel off season, there are fewer customers compared to the last year. Last year's autumn, even on the weekday, every day there is a long line in front of the ticket counters. However, not that much. If you are heading to the north part of Japan, Tohoku region, you need to use that green one. Even it's the same Tokyo station, however, the entrance is different. So just remember, if you are heading to the north part of Japan, you need to use this green one over here. So let's walk toward to the KO line. What is that? Is this a new souvenir? Ah, uh, it's a butter cookie. They have four different kinds of taste. The new flavor, it says pistachio butter. Must be good. They have the fondue cheese one as well. This must be good too. It says Pakut to Mogu Terasu. Here, small Japanese lesson. The sound of eating is Pakut. Paku. So you can say Pakut to Taberu. The sound expression is always different in the world. In Japan, the sound of eating is Pakut. Paku. Keio Line, this is the way to go. 400 meters to go. There are many interesting sound of expression in Japan too. For example, walking, the sound is tek tek. So they are tek tek walking. <laughs> Since I'm a native Japanese speaker, when I was a kid, I never had, you know, it's kind of funny sound, but now I feel like, you know, the tek 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 tek, the sound is interesting and funny too. Here, we have the travel later. So it's much easier to walk. During rush hour time, this place becomes super, super crowded. But now, it's okay, huh? After this escalator, it's almost there. Oh wow, that's a beautiful glass art. Nice. Today, since I forgot the heat pack, I want to find the heat pack. Let's see if they have one. They have so many different kinds of heat pack, but those are the fives in one. So I want to find a separate one. Ah, oh, this must be the one. Yeah, the one inside price is 44 Japanese yen. Let's get it. It's one of the most useful stuff in Japan if you are traveling during winter. The price is cheap and also you can find it from one individual one too. So if you feel cold, don't forget to get one. You can find it either in konbini or drugstore. It's really convenient. By the way, heat pack in Japanese is called Kokkaido. Kaido. Kaido. Uh, I think Kaido is the official way, so Kaido. You can just take it off and this one sticks to the clothes. So it's really convenient. Since my stomach is not that strong and whenever it's cold, I always get a stomachache. So yeah, I usually place the heat pack over here. <laughs> it's my little secret. Anyways, so let's keep walking. Since this is the line going to Disneyland too, there is a Disney shop over here too. <laughs> nice for the spot. Hey, Paul! 
<laughs> no, no, no. Today we are not heading to the Disneyland. We are heading to the Kasai Dinkai Park. So this is the way to go. Yes, still we are going lower. By the way, Maihama is the station where the Disneyland locates. Seems like next train is 121, which is 9 minutes from now. There are not that many trains, so you gotta be careful. However, it's only 5 stations away from Tokyo Station, so not that far. It's leaving from truck number 4, so let's go. This must be the one. Leaving here after 8 minutes from now though. Oh, here. We have the snack vending machines. Not so many stations have the snack vending machine like this. <laughs> that every burger. That was my favorite snack when I was a kid. Eh? It's the cookie, inside there is a chocolate. That's pretty good. Eh? Anyway, so let's wait inside the train. It's the starting train from Tokyo Station, so there are many plenty of empty seats. Sweet! We arrived to the Kasai Rinkai Koen Station. It only took 14 minutes. Alright, so let's explore the park. It's the aquarium theme. Since it's the weekday, not that many people here. Next station from here, it's the Maihama Station. Probably even on the weekday. That Maihama Station is crowded though. Oh really? That's something interesting. It's the rental strollers. You can return it here. I've seen many rental umbrella in the station, but I think it's my first time to see the rental stroller in the station. <laughs> Look at the coin lockers. Most of them are empty. So yeah, I assume few will be boring. By the way, price costs 230 Japanese yen until here. There are many gacha phones. Is there something interesting? Ah, oh, this one? I see the Pokemon version. It was so cute. But they have the Sanrio version here. Sweet. Oh yeah, they have one here too. This is the one. Sweet. Anyways, let's keep walking. Oh yeah, that's the Ferris wheel. Oh my goodness, it's huge. In front of the station, there is a Starbucks Burger King. Also convenient too. Really convenient. But we are planning in the aquarium, so... Let's keep walking. Last time when I came here, it was the weekend, so there were many people. But today, it's the weekday, so not that many people, huh? Recently, I've been making the video from Popular City for the travel update. But today, we are in a non-popular place. It's a little bit different compared to the regular videos. But uh, hopefully this video can give you a travel idea for the next Japan trip. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button so that I can know this kind of video too. People enjoy watching it. Arigatou! Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Sino. Go! Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Our goal of 2024, hitting 200,000 subscribers. So I need your help. Arigatou! If you are heading to the aquarium, it's super easy. You can just keep straight and the entrance is over there. Oh, now the penguin exhibition is closed due to the construction. That's okay. Let's keep walking. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Tokyo Sea Life Park. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Tokyo Disneyland. So I usually go to Maihama. This Kasai Rinkai Park, not that much. Especially for this aquarium, it's my first time. Super excited. What is this place? Let me see. Oh, it's a souvenir place, huh? Oh my goodness, this one is interesting. It's a tuna candy. Wow, it is a candy, but tuna print. So uh, technically, it's a tuna printed candy. And it's the fish-shaped ningyo yaki. Ningyo yaki is really popular traditional Asakusa's manju, which is the sweet red bean paste inside. Outside, there is a castera. Price is 1080 Japanese yen. 
This one is pretty nice. Oh my goodness, those bookmarks are so cute. Especially, I like this jellyfish one. Sweet. Oh, here we go. There is a sample. Yeah, this one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this one. It's a sushi card. This one is a sample. I am wondering how it looks like. Oh, so this one is a diamond ace. It's the shrimp. Uh, eight heart. That's the oyster. <laughs> Interesting. You can learn the name of fish in Japanese and you can play the card. That's a good one. Price is 1,540 Japanese yen. <laughs> and the lobster slippers. Price is 1,650 Japanese yen. All right, so anyways, let's keep walking. One good thing of this aquarium, compared to the other aquariums, the ticket price is much cheaper. But one thing you have to be careful is that this place, the closing time is 4 p.m. So you need to come over here before 4. I heard it's the really popular spot for families. Super excited. Let's keep walking. Ticket price is only 700 Japanese yen. Yep, compared to the other place, much cheaper. There are many different kinds of language options, so even you don't understand Japanese, it's fine. Here, you can pet it with the train IC card too. So train IC card is really convenient if you are visiting Japan. Make sure to get one if you visit Japan. Here we go, this is the ticket. By the way, if you have a kid dealt to 12 years old, entrance fee is free. So I assume that's the entrance. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful place. Since it's the next to Tokyo Disneyland from here, we can see the, that's Tokyo Disneyland Hotel and the Big Thunder Mountain, Cinderella Castle, Space Mountain over there. And uh, I believe that's a Tower of Terror and the Tokyo Disney Sea. Oh, that's the feeding time schedule and uh, there is a map in English here they also have Chinese and also Korean language according to the map there are three levels let's keep walking so let's go in down oh it's the first place it's a coral reef of sea Oh my goodness, look at this yellow fish. So cute. I'm wondering if we can find Nemo. Probably not. Oh, now they have the explanation here in Japanese. There are so many small fish and the sharks are in the same tank, but they are not eaten. Living together friendly, huh? Interesting. There are many fish models inside. <laughs> this one is interesting. If you place it in the ocean, because of the water pressure, how small it will be, this is the regular size of this seafood cup noodle. And if you place it 1,000 meter deep, it becomes like this, and 5,000 meter deep, it becomes like this. It becomes super tiny, huh? Shrinking because of the water pressure. Interesting. Let's go to the downstairs. So I believe this is the main tank of this aquarium. What else we have? Let's see. Oh, this is the sea of the world. This is the California Ocean. And this is the west coast of Canada. What is that? It is the strawberry anemone. Wow. Well, it is beautiful, but kind of scary though. This is South China Sea tank. Oh my goodness, the huge fish is hiding over there. Oh, 
<laughs> Just realized his face is there. Oh, that red lionfish is hiding over there. And here too. <laughs> that fish is beautiful. Here, it's the coastal borders of Hawaii. Oh my goodness, look at this flame angel fish. It's a really beautiful fish. Uh, he's having a lunch time. I'm getting hungry too. Oh, and here it's the Great Barrier Reef. To visit this ocean and swim there in my bucket list. Oh, Dolly there. Where is Nemo? It's the Western Australia Ocean. Oh my goodness, look at this guy over here. It's the seahorse. Wow. Amazing. Can't believe it's living. It's very mysterious. Oh, finally, I found Nemo here. <laughs> He's hiding. It's the Indian Ocean tank. There are so many tanks and the best part, there is a Japanese and also English translation in everywhere. So it's really good place to educate the kids. It's life of the deep sea. It's the crab in the deep sea. Doesn't look like tasty. Oh, that crab? Maybe? But I think king crab better. That Japanese lobster doesn't look tasty neither. So maybe deep ocean? It's not for lunch. What else we have? The aqua theater. Oh, that's a big tuna fish tank. Since it's right next to the ocean. Must be easier to keep the fish home. So many tuna fish. Time of the sushi. Man, I should have eaten before I come over here because you know, whenever I see the fish, I remember the sushi and the sashimi. So <laughs> make sure to eat before you come over here. Yeah, it's better for you. Here, it's the penguin habitat, but I believe it's under construction, so we can see the penguin. Yeah, seems like no penguin here. Oh, wait. That wasn't the penguin habitat. Penguin habitat is in a different place, according to the map. Tide pool. Oh, that's purple sea urchin. And actually, you can touch it here. Those are the tank that you can touch. And there's a place to wash hands as well. Oh, I see. And this must be the place, the penguin habitat. But due to the construction, we can't enter though. Restaurant is here. Time to eat. Oh, wait. <laughs> we still have tank. What is that? Oh, it's the Sea of Montreal. There are many other tank and also the place for kids as well. That's luminous animal. By the way, luminous in Japanese is hakko, hakko. Can we see luminous fish here? Oh, I'm not sure if my cam can capture it or not, but yeah, the fish itself makes the light. Very interesting. Oh, that's how they light it. Light is produced by a chemical reaction. Very interesting. It's the seabird habitat. Oh my goodness, he's jumping around. <laughs> oh my goodness, so cute. It's like, what's up? <laughs> And finally, yes, we arrived to the restaurants. I'm starving. Let's eat. So those are the menu items. Seems like they have the seafood bowl. Plus, I think that's a karaage and the curry. If you don't like the seafood, pork bowl plus pasta as well. Which one should I eat? Can't decide. Oh, seems like 
Today, already the tuna bowl is sold out. This pasta looks pretty good too, but uh, why don't we try the curry rice with tuna cutlet? Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Okay, so we can pick up the tray here. Oh, I see. So it's like IKEA style. They have a special plate menu too, but since this is the white fish, I have an allergy on it. So I ordered a tuna one. Oh, look at that. Tea with milk flavored cake and strawberry sauce. This one sounds pretty good too. Why not? 500 Japanese yen? Let's do it. Looks pretty good. They have the draft beer too. The price is 700 Japanese yen. So yeah, maybe next time. So those are the drink menu items. The price is 300 Japanese yen. It's much cheaper compared to the beer. So why not? Let's get the ice cafe latte since we got the dessert. Oh, they also have the food for babies. They can warm it up. Not that many people, so wherever we can see it. Sweet! Wait, it's a curry. Should I wear it? No, it's hot, so it's okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make the curry on my t-shirts. So I ordered a miso soup too. So all together, the price was 1,750 Japanese yen. However, we got the dessert and the drink. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. Probably there are many kids. So I guess this curry is not that spicy. Itadakimasu. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It is not that spicy, but somehow it's kind of sour. Wait, is it spicy? I don't know. But very interesting flavor. Compared to the other curry, it is different. Majoju. And it's the tuna cutlet. Mm. Well, I love pork cutlet, but I do love tuna cutlet too. You know, whenever I'm super hungry, I eat the pork cutlet, and uh, whenever I want to eat something healthier, I eat the tuna cutlet. And we got miso soup too. Psycho. You know, whenever I make the video during pandemic, yeah, everywhere place was like this. But uh, after travelers come back, everywhere becomes super crowded in Tokyo. But uh, probably the last year, just so many people come over to Japan, and then now for them it's time to take a rest. So if you don't like crowd much, maybe you want to travel around this season. Definitely compared to summer or autumn, much fewer people. Maybe you realized, but recently, compared to before, there were fewer videos per week now. Well, please don't worry. I was planning to take a rest on January and February since there are fewer travelers. However, before the spring season comes, I will upload like before. So please look forward to it. Well, maybe during the off season, I'd better travel to the other country too? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> As you guys know, I'm a really random person, so maybe. <laughs> Today, I feel like that I want to go to some other countries, and then next day, I'm in that country, so yeah. <laughs> there is no plan for the videos, but please look forward to it, and let's keep walking. And here we go. It's time for the dessert. Speaking of this place, probably during the weekend, it's not like this. It will be much crowded since, you know, there are many families visiting here, especially for locals. So if you are visiting here for the travel, definitely I recommend you to visit here during the weekday because it's much easier to see the tanks and also eat here. Well, I got this for mixing, but uh, yeah, I just realized I can do it with the straws, so that's okay. Probably I made a good decision not ordering beer, but order the cafe latte because with the cake, definitely coffee better option compared to the beer. 
well, for most of people. And、uh, <laughs> don't worry, I'm also the one, most of them. So, yeah, with cafe latte, better. Mmm, it's delicious. Nice sour strawberry with sweet cake. I love it. Mmm. Psycho. Yeah, it is a very peaceful time. Maybe, you know, if you love the kind of like travel part, definitely this is not the place, maybe. But、uh, if you are tiring with the visiting the so many crowded places, you can visit here because it is really peaceful. And also, for people who are living in Japan, raising the kids in Japan, definitely this is a place that you want to visit too because for the kids, it's free entrance. And、uh, if you visit here on the weekday, Really few people. There's a big park. I will show you guys after this. Perfect place. It's nice tea flavor. I love that. Yeah, seems like almost time of the sunset. Let's walk the ocean side. Let's go check the terrace cedar. <laughs> Since it's cold and windy, no one here, but definitely. It's perfect place for the warm day. If you just order a drink, there's a place to sit down too. I can smell of the nice ocean smell here. Sweet. All right, so let's go to the exit. There is another souvenir shop. <laughs> Sweet, so many bluefin tuna items. And since 2024 Zodiac, it's dragon, so <laughs> seahorse animal stuff. Yeah, it can stand. <laughs> so cute. And here, also the bluefin tuna animal stuff. Yep. If you love the tuna fish or tuna sushi, definitely. You g o t get this bluefin tuna, the big one. Price is 4,400 Japanese yen. So, you know, it's like maybe a several ultra price. Yep. If it's too expensive, don't worry. There is a half price one too. This one is already big enough too. Price is 2,200 Japanese yen. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, look at this. It's the spoon for kids. The wood spoon. Ah, pretty nice. 440 Japanese yen. And yeah, maybe this is the one. Chin Anago Magnet. You can place it in the refrigerator. Oh my goodness, this is so funny. Yeah, you can place the paper like this. Very interesting. Okay, let's go out. Oh, I see. I can hear the sound of bubble. So, this place is like just going to the ocean. Yeah, that's the theme. Now I just realized.、Whew. Yep, the sunset time is coming. Thinking about entrance fee is only 700 Japanese yen and free for kids? Definitely. I recommend visit here. I love this place. Oh, seems like we still have more. It's a picnic plaza. By the way, lunchbox in Japanese called Obento Obento. This place is the lunchbox square, Obento Hiroba. <laughs> Questions How many b e a r d the catfish has? One, two, two, four, three, ten. Huh, I think it's four. The answer is. 125 meters, we have to go. Oh my goodness, it's a beautiful day but super windy. Yep, the first wheel must be super scary. I'm wondering if someone riding on that huge first wheel. This area should be the water birds area, but now it's under construction. Probably they are renewing the summer season. <laughs> Interesting question. So, which leaves are wasabi's leaves?、Uh, I'm sure 
it's not number three. So either one or two, right? I believe it's number one because the shapes like wasabi. But it feels like number two though. Let's see. Oh, there is a freshwater life place. Wondering how it looks like. Oh, we can go under the ocean. There are so many fish here. Seems like those fish are sleeping though. This tank should be for frog, but I can't find it. Oh, I found it. It's just over there. <laughs> he was hiding. By the way, frog in Japanese called kaeru. kaeru. <laughs> This one much easier. That's a huge frog. <laughs> Here, small Japanese lesson. The sound of croaking of frog, it is gecko, 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 gecko. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it sounds weird, right? <laughs> but uh, for us, yes, the frog sound is gecko, gecko. <laughs> yep, it's like, what does the frog say? Gecko, 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 gecko. This place too, we can peek under the ocean. I mean, under the creek, river. I don't know which one it is. Huh, that's how they live in the water. <laughs> Where is the answer? Yeah, I'm wondering. Wait, that's already exit. We haven't found the answer yet. Yeah, probably we missed the answers. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe next time when we visit here, we can check the answers. Yeah, probably the question wouldn't change for a while. So don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's keep walking. Ooh. Since it's almost 4 p.m., the entrance was closing. So this is park looks like. It's a huge park. We are in the Tokyo Sea Life Park, if you go to the left side, there are many bird watching places. You can cycle too. But uh, today, since we don't have that much time, we are not going there and we are heading to the squares and also the first wheel place. It's a huge park, so if we go to that bird watching area, probably when we arrive to the first wheel, it becomes already the sunset time. Oh, there is a Kansai Rinkai Park cruising too. Sea bus there. Must be really fun, huh? Oh my goodness, look at the building. We got uh, something artistic. Yes, we got to enter there. This place, super windy and cold. Inside, must be warmer. <laughs> yeah, inside, there is the AC. This place, much, much warmer. <laughs> Love it, Oh, so this is how inside looks like and we can enjoy the view of ocean and the sunset too. During winter, inside it's much warmer so it's a perfect spot to watch the sunset. Seems like there are the barbecue areas. Also, those are the Tokyo Disneyland hotels. Plus, I think that's a Space Mountain Stone. The Space Mountain is renewing, so it's closed now, but we can see the Cinderella Castle there. The way to go down, it's the slope. Let's walk toward to the Ferris wheel place. I believe this is the way to go. <laughs> I believe. Yep, I believe this is the shortcut because that's the first wheel, so must be this is the way. Oh, I just realized those are the sakura trees. So during spring, this place must be super beautiful, huh? Maybe we need to come back here during sakura season. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Yes, it was much simple. We are already here. <laughs> Deka. <laughs> it's huge. Seems like even this such a windy day, 
There are people using the Ferris wheel. Oh my goodness, that's huge. So the price is 800 Japanese yen. Three years and under, it's free. Oh, I didn't know that. If we have the aquarium ticket, then it's 10% off. Well, anyways, <laughs> I'm not using it though. <laughs> well, I have a phobia in the high place, so this time I skip. But if you love the high place or Ferris wheel, definitely you can try that. But uh, again, it's super windy day. Probably the Ferris wheel gondola is shaking, so you gotta be careful. Well, <laughs> if you're afraid of the Ferris wheel high place, uh, there is a kids ride instead in front of the Ferris wheel. So maybe you can enjoy that. Or maybe you can enjoy the Perikura. I'm wondering how many years this Mario Kart is here. The color is already changing. This drum master too. <laughs> Interesting. Let's go back to the station and let's go back to the Tokyo station. <laughs> On the way to go back, small Japanese lesson. Ferris wheel in Japanese? Kanlansha. Kanlansha. We'd better go back to Tokyo Station before it gets darker. Because this station is right next to the Tokyo Disneyland Station. So that's why people are going back from Disneyland to Tokyo Station. Everyone is using the same train and it will be super packed. Yeah, that's something that I know. So we'd better come back to Tokyo Station before it gets dark. Oh, they had the Okinawa lunch. The taco rice, 900 Japanese yen. Oh, looks pretty good too. The Okinawa soba, Goya champloo, teishoku. Oh, that could be the price too, huh? Maybe next time. Hopefully train is not that crowded though. Sweet. Seems like in the train, it's not that crowded. Right on time. It's Goodbye to the hair seal. It's almost 5 p.m. So probably Tokyo Station, it's more crowded. Yep, compared to the noon time we use this street, it's more crowded. Seems like still it's better, huh? Oh, sweet. Seems like outside it's not completely dark yet. And we come back to the Marunouchi Square of Tokyo Station. Beautiful. So came back to the Tokyo Station. As you see, really fewer people compared to before. Well, probably after the spring comes, this place will be super crowded like before too. So today, I focus on the less popular travel spot. How do you guys like it? Well, even if it's not that popular spot, hopefully this video will help for your next Japan trip. Yes, I will try to introduce more and more hidden spots. And also, we'll give you guys a travel situation update from the major city of Tokyo too. So if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you will not miss my new video and surprise live stream. Well, since this is not the popular spot video, I'm not sure how many views we get. But if you enjoyed the video, please, please don't forget to hit the like button so that I can know this kind of local spot videos. You guys enjoy that too. And it will really encourage me to keep shooting videos. Big thank you to all of my Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. Alright, so hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next video. See you ciao. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye. Yeah, can you see that? <laughs> really few people, maybe because it's cold or windy. I don't know. Where are the travelers going? It's 7 degrees right now. Oh, speaking of the snow situation, so many people ask me if you can see the snow in Tokyo or not. 
The answer is yes, if you are lucky. Even today is a hot day, but last week there was a snow in Shibuya. Of course, it's not like you know snow everywhere, and uh, you can see the snow on the street. But uh, yeah, there was snowing. So if you are lucky, definitely you can see the snow. Well, but anyways, if you wanna see snow in Japan, just go to the north part of Tokyo or in the center part of Tokyo. There are many places that you can always see the snow, especially the Hokkaido. Yeah, that's the answer. Yes, I read your comment. If you have any question, just give me the comment. I will try to answer it by the comment or in the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cold. Anyways, hope <laughs> you enjoyed the video. See you soon.